Okay, y'all, it's Monday of week two of documenting this, the start of this fitness journey. I am gonna be doing a liquid IV today. It, this is what, 45 calories? I'm not gonna sweat it. Okay, and look what I got! The Dimatize! Like I said, the vanilla 67 serving size. I love this, by the way. I mean, I know vanilla is like a basic bitch, but it is so much more economical than the Fruity Pebbles. And it tastes really good. And then I think we're gonna finish this collagen. I just got another one in. Okay, so we had about one scoop left. See, you gotta use it or lose it. You know, it's not doing you any good to sit on a shelf. Use it or lose it. Things spoil and things also don't benefit you if they're not applied to your body or ingested into your body, depending on what it is. Okay, Monday was a light day, but today felt really good. My quads were a little bit dead on the bike, but I just, I don't know. In real life, I would not say I'm the most confident person out there, but when I'm in my own world and there's a, a downward spotlight basically right above me and the song just has me feeling like I'm you know, bopping along. I mean, I feel like I'm the main character in a movie or something and nothing can stop me. I'm not too worried about the number of push-ups. I'm just glad that I could even do some. And then I finished with just a casual 2.5% incline, 3.0 pace. Just, you know, just a nice boppy walk. And that was it. I might have like half of a Chipotle burrito bowl or something. I, I don't want to be so restrictive that I feel withered and depleted on my crunch days. I want my crunch days to be where I have enough fuel and reserves to like really kill it. So this is something, probably a controversial opinion. I think for some people, they do not get endorphins until they start to build up a baseline. Like I think for some people, working out for, for weeks is just gonna feel absolutely horrible, irredeemable. Like there's no, nothing, no good qualities to it. I'm just going, I'm hurting and it sucks and I'm sore and my, I, my muscles feel dead and I'm not getting any like good feeling out of it. This just fucking sucks. But after you just persist through that and you get past like the first month or so, you do start to get blips of that endorphin like rush and I'm sure there's like some dopamine in there too and it just feels awesome and so keep pushing because it's worth it to get there you know the, just even those little blips okay I pre-made all my drinks and stuff you know to try to trim down these little pre-workout videos a little bit this my dimatizing collagen ready to go in my avocado cup so cute uh, this is my um, hydration stick water today's flavor is great Oh God, uh-oh, different. <laughs> We're gonna switch the banana. Texturally, I know it's fine to eat a really bruised banana. There's nothing wrong with it, but texturally, I just can't. And what, like bananas are, it's like 43 cents a pound. So, I mean, yeah. I, I think that I can spare one banana. I'm feeling really mentally tired today. It's just been a really slow, weird day. Not quite a dissociation, but just, I don't know, just feeling like, like, like in the Claritin commercials, you know, when everything's sort of misty and foggy until the Claritin gets you Claritin clear. I have already noticed that I am feeling so much strong. I mean, not like dramatically stronger, but I have noticed that I do feel stronger. In my office room upstairs, it's a second bedroom that I converted into like my computer room, plus some printing stuff and cutting stuff. And there is this tank of a guillotine style paper slicer. Like I'm not talking about the ones with the swinging arm. I'm talking like it's a blade and you pull on this crank handlebar. But the point is the whole contraption for me is heavy as holy living fuck. But I noticed getting it down this past week, um, yesterday felt so much less laborious. It was so much easier to do. And that was such a good feeling. So that's why I want you, if you are starting a fitness journey from zero, like me, from a, an overweight, obese, sedentary lifestyle, when you do start, like, eat, you know, because I'm not noticing, like, like the weight is not just like melting off. I'm not gonna be one of those people. Like, I lost 25 pounds in a month. 
that's definitely not going to be my journey. But stay in tune with how your body feels. You know, notice the little things like, oh wow, like I, I vividly remember this used to be a lot harder for me to lift or carry from table to shelf. This feels a lot less in, like, like this feels a lot easier today. Keep in touch with those little things because when those are the small wins that feel amazing and they, they prevent you from getting discouraged because you know, if you are a very results driven person, these are the little wins that you're mentally going to need to keep the motivation up. So pay attention to every little positive change that you experience. Okay, that ended up being a pretty good crunch day. So I did my normal 100 calorie walk warm up and then I did my, mm, <coughs> sorry, asthma. Mm. Then I did my modified PF30 Express. So I only did gentle steps, but I did every machine twice except for the quad one and the ab one. Um, so two rounds of the green light back to back. And that, and I, I also bumped my weight up. So I don't remember what I was for exactly everything. I'll track that on my next crunch day on Friday. I'll like put it in my phone or something so I can recall it. But I am bumping my weight up on all of my sets, which feels really good. And then I did 200 calories on the strider with the sprint finish. And then I did 50 calorie walk just to cool down from that. I could only manage 50 calories on the stair escalator machine. So instead of a 100 calorie finish walk, I did 150 calories with about 50 of it being on an incline to sort of sim, I mean, not, not simulate stairs, but still give like an incline type of vibe. I don't have a good massage gun, like a Theragun. I just have like a cheap, <laughs> cheap little like buzzing thing from Brookstone <laughs> from years and years ago. Better than nothing, but down the road, I would love to um, get a Theragun. It's just totally out of my budget at this point, but who knows, down the road, things could change. Forgot to mention a really cute and endearing thing I saw. There was this older lady who was just killing it, thriving with, you know, the weight machines and just sweating almost as much as I was when I was on the Strider machine. But she had one of those HRC shirts on and it said, if you don't accept my existence, then expect my resistance. And existence was in all rainbow letters. And I was just like, oh my God, that is so adorable. It's either, you know, we love to see it, either an ally grandma or an older lesbian slamming some weights. Either way, you know, just love to see it. <laughs> Guess what came today? The Action 4. I feel like I'm gonna be so much more portable now and this is just gonna be a lot of fun and make this whole process a lot easier. I'm prone to demotivation or lack of motivation or fading motivation and discouragement. And I really think this is gonna help me keep the momentum going, especially when it's nice enough to go on little nature trail things and whatnot. But anyway, let me switch to this for a second. Start recording. Isn't that just so cool? Okay, so now I'm on the Osmo Action Cam. And today, since I'm doing a light day today, Again, the schedule of what I I had planned for the week is going to be available to view via a cloud link in the description, but um, I'm not doing my crystal light caffeine today. I need a little bit more of a kick, and since it's a light day, I'm not worried about my stomach being upset, so um, it's going to be cold coffee, <laughs> cold leftover coffee. Oh, oh my god. Oh no, the fridge. The damn fridge! I hate that noise so much. But anyway, let me talk about some new things that came in besides the the camera. I'm super excited to try this out because it's supposed to boost, not only just boost your performance during a workout, but it's supposed to help with recovery because it's a vaso vasodilator. So I'm going to start trying this out either mixed in with the drink that I bring to the gym or in my pre-workout crystal light drink, one of the two. Today it's going to go inside my little cuppy that I'm taking to the gym. We're going back to the mermaid cup today. <laughs> so I am going to be trying out Ultima after I use up the last of my sticks because this is 90 servings. Um, this is expensive. I mean, like for the whole thing, $45. But think of it in terms of per serving. 
Per serving, the liquid IV sticks, no matter even if you get like the 30 packs to really try to maximize value, are so much more expensive on a per serving basis than this. This is like 50 cents per um, workout, you know, uh, electrolyte uh, drink. Another thing that came in that I'm really excited to start on, it'll probably be next week, but the GNC Mega Men Sport Multivitamin. So I'm almost, almost out of my Centrum for Men. Um, it's in that pile back there. I'm almost out of that, but um, I am gonna be switching to the Mega Men Sport afterwards, and I got a 90-day supply, so that should be enough time to get a vibe on it, you know? Obviously I can't, like, I can't look inside my body and cells and tell you like, yeah, I feel like this, this is definitely making a difference for me on a cellular body organ level. But I'll, at the very least, I'll be able to give some input on whether like this does not cause stomach upset. It's gonna be hard because I am incorporating so many other boosters, or I mean, not so many, but I am incorporating other boosters. And so I'm not gonna be able to isolate to, yeah, it was just the Mega Men. But I'll at least be able to tell you in 90 days if I plan on rebuying it. If I think that um, it's something that I view as worthy to purchase on my little health and wellness recovery journey and well tolerated, things like that. Another thing that came in, which I'm actually really pissed about. <laughs> so last year when I was in my bender, um, one thing that I did... <laughs> I did sign up for and I what I okay the fatty 15 Jesus Christ I have no idea if this is actually legit or not in retrospect it's one of those things where I got suckered in by the correlation versus causation thing there's a correlation that dolphins that happen to be on a high pentadecanoic acid diet tend to live longer and have lower rates of diseases that are uh, cross species. So like dolphins can also get heart disease, autoimmune conditions, degenerative organ failures, um, uh, cellular stress and oxidation. Dolphins can get that too. And there just happens to be a correlation that a certain pod of dolphins that has an unusually high amount of peca pentadecanoic acid in their diets happen to live longer and much healthier. There's no proof that it actually is the pentadecanoic acid that is responsible for that. But this company decided like, oh my God, dolphins, <laughs> everyone loves dolphins. And so they set up a company to start selling pentadecanoic acid. The point of the story is I signed up for the every three month plan. And last year, towards the end of last year, I skipped a shipment. I thought like, oh, maybe I'll come back to it. You know, like maybe I'll change my mind. But for now, I'm like, I was... I was really prioritizing my budgeting. And so I was like, yeah, I'm gonna skip the shipment. We'll, we'll revisit that circle back in the new year. I forgot about it, completely forgot. So I ended up getting another three month, 90 day supply for 120 fucking dollars. I am so pissed. I don't know if their return policy covers accidentally ordering it. Cause you just forgot, like, I don't know. I honestly think that I am gonna go through this just because I'm, I'm gonna give it another fair shake. I'm gonna give it a fairer shake because when I was taking this and I didn't think it was doing anything for me, I was living in a, a completely sedentary, binge eating, unhealthy lifestyle. No product that is meant for you know health improvement is going to function at its best if you are not exercising and if you are eating like shit. So now that I am eating healthier and much more active, I do think that I am gonna just give this 90 day shot and we'll see. Like I I have my physical coming up uh, March 28th. So that'll give this over a month to sort of incorporate into the routine, into the new routine. If March 28th comes and my cholesterol levels are better and my um, blood pressure's better and just all, a lot of my other labs that were fucked up the last time I had a physical, if they are all trending better then I'm going to leave this in the routine. If I'm still in the exact same place, then I'm going to be like, fuck this shit and to fully cancel the program because that this stresses my budget. But anyway, sorry for all the rambling. I'm just having so much fun with this little camera and I love the extension rod that it came with. Okay, so, oh my God, isn't this selfie stick just 
amazing. <laughs> it's so long, but it feels so sturdy. But um, probably still not the best or most flattering angle, but just showing. Uh, I'm not going to be wearing the blue Crocs to the gym, but just a gray, gray t-shirt, uh, cotton, and some of these green Coles shorts. But anyway, let's go, let's go to the gym and put in some good work. <laughs> Light day, but still, that doesn't mean a slacking day. It means a good, purposeful, low intensity day. Okay, I'm pulling in right now. We have arrived at Planet Fitness. I, I get why Planet Fitness gets such a bad rap from people who are like elite level fit or really into the aesthetic and bodybuilding stuff. <coughs> I get it, but I feel like, I don't know, I've had a really good experience at this Planet Fitness so far. Um, there haven't been any weirdos, and I don't know, it's just like, I'm a very shy person, so I haven't really introduced myself yet to anybody, but it, it's sort of becoming a comforting routine to start to see familiar faces. Okay, so Thursday light day was pretty good. Sorry, the asthma, ongoing issue. Got a lot of issues going on right now because I'm considering actually taking tomorrow off my Crunch Friday because, do you see, it, it's, it was so much worse in the gym, but the sweat flares up that dermatitis rash that I got from the Hawaiian Tropic all around my neck, but especially on my throat. It just, yeah, it, it's gone down a lot. But it like when I went to the, when I had a bathroom break after my biking, it was like almost raised up and just all red, almost from here to here and like all the way around. Um, it looked terrible. It looks like I was breaking out into hives or something. That's something that is so frustrating when you um, are recovering from dermatitis. Sweat, like your own sweat can be such a trigger that just re-irritates it, gets it all fired up again. But anyway, what I ended up doing today is I did my 100 calorie warm up walk. And then, you know, one thing that's been bugging me, actually, my ankles are super crackly. I mean, they've always been kind of crackly, but now they're starting to hurt when they crackle, especially the left one. And I dare not say the A word, arthritis, but I really think it might be a possibility. Or it could just, wh whatever it is, I think it's worsened by my weight. So hopefully I'll just keep, keep slow and steady, keep building strength and endurance and stamina while slowly shedding mass. Because again, I, I know some people can thrive um, it, it, either overweight or obese, but my body just cannot. It literally starts to fall apart. Yeah, left, left bad ankle, left arthritic bad ankle, right knee prone to tendonitis. I mean, <laughs> my body just cannot take it. Anyway, just gonna keep the progress going, but I did the 100 calorie warm up walk. And then I, the reason I was talking about that is because I did 300 calories on the bike instead of um, 100, instead of 200, because I wanted to break up the other two walks into 50 calorie increments instead of 100 calorie increments because I thought that that would um, just be easier on on my ankle, you know, since my left ankle is being so ar oh, seemingly arthritic, you know. But, but, so I did the 300 calories on the bicycle. I wanted to say real quick too, I have noticed that my endurance and stamina on that is a lot better because there was like when I was first starting level four getting up to 200 calories was fucking hard and it would like literally inflame my knee today I, like it was it was like my pace was better than it's ever been and I did most of it on level eight um, and I even had like a burst at the end and so like that's one of those things don't feel bad about don't feel bad when you're starting out, when you're just like, oh my God, like why is it so hard to level up? It happens slowly and organically. The thing is just keep leveling up. You know, if, if level three or four is all that you can really do to keep a progressive, constant pace when you start, keep going, keep going. But then at a certain point, you know, make it so that instead of three, four being your comfort zone, make it so that four or five is your comfort zone for a week, you know, and then do like a week or two at that and then just keep incrementally bumping up. And then, you know, you'll one day you'll be like, oh my God, I did that whole thing without going below level eight. Um, it's a really great feeling. Oh yeah, I need to chug my protein down. Protein and collagen. I, uh, you know, I, I do think that the citrulline helped me 
do better on the bike today. I think that that might have been part of it because my quads did feel a little dead, but it was still just like one of the best bike sessions I've ever had so far since re since um, reclaiming my fitness or, you know, starting this whole journey and whatnot. But anyway, protein and collagen and then a lot of R&R. &R. I'll see you tomorrow. Okay, it's going to be a shorter check-in in my ugly kitchen. I already did my crystal light powder. Oh, also, um... It's still light out. I have a chance to go to the gym earlier, which is always a blessing. But I did my crystal light. It was with caffeine. It was citrus flavored. And I added a little bit, like maybe half of the recommended dose of L-citrulline. Um, and then my workout, my during the workout drink is going to be the Ultima powder plus some L-citrulline. And my post-workout recovery is going to be, or is, dimatized plus my collagen, my usual. But I don't really have anything explicitly on my mind today other than, oh, Lord, help me. Because, ooh, oh, oh my gosh, I am feeling sore and depleted. But I did have, I did have pasta. And so I think that that's going to help me get through this end of the week crunch. But let you know, enough chit chat, let's just go. I am trying out some new stuff at Planet Fitness today. So what I'm doing, I am trying out, oh my God, this truck has stopped in the road. Well, now why the fuck is this car stopped? Okay, probably on his cell phone. <clears throat> I am trying out the hydro massage and I'm gonna try out the red light room. <laughs> which is not as scary or sexual as it sounds. Uh, if you follow Brian Johnson and his quest for immortality, then you'll know uh, he, he's a big proponent of red light. He actually has his own installation that, uh, that he uses daily and, oh my gosh, <clears throat> that's an interesting man. I would never want to live forever. I'm not saying that I want to die today or anytime soon, but just honestly, I think eternal life sounds like one of the worst possible forms of personal hell I could ever, ever encounter. But for him, that's like his cornucopia, his whatever the fuck. He, he's trying to live an unnaturally long human life. But the reason why I'm sort of neutral on him is because he's a very wealthy man who has fuck you money, and this is just how he's choosing to spend it. Honestly, the, what someone chooses to spend their money on inside of their own home, as, like in terms of anti-aging equipment and um, supplement powders and supplement pills and olive oils and skincare and sunscreens, like what other people are spending their money on does not affect me. So I don't get why people are being so hostile to him. From what I can tell, he has stopped harvesting his son's plasma because it didn't work. <laughs> so so that's, a, that's good, good news, I guess. But <coughs> man, what, what a deviation we went on just because I'm gonna be trying out the red light room. Wowza. Yeah, I need a little bit of a pump up. Okay, I made it. <clears throat> so I'll be back after, I'm, I'm just gonna do the best I can. I might have to cut some things short, but at the very least I'll have reviews on the hydro massage and the red light room and all that. Let's go get it. End of the week on a good note. So I'm about to get in the total body enhancement red light infrared machine. Um, I'm not bringing my phone in because I don't know if that's going to damage my camera sensors. 
but they gave you these little stickers to put over your eyes. So I'm excited, but I had a good workout. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna get in it and it'll auto start in a minute or two. Cool. Okay, y'all, I have changed my shirt because I sweat through this gray one. Just felt cold and nasty. So, whew. Oh, and this one still has a little bit of that bleach scent on it. Call me a weirdo or whatever, but I love the faint scent of bleach on clean laundry. Not, not too much, but like just a little bit, especially if it's one of the scented bleaches, like the pink one from Clorox, and then mix that in with like a yummy, not, I mean not to eat, but yummy smelling detergent and some beads. I love the light lavender beads from Downey, and ah, oh, the, the final concoction is just Mm, lovely, fresh. Anyway, that was a great Friday. Ah, felt really good. So, with a caveat. So, so I went in and the first thing that I actually did is I tried out the hydro massage. I did the bed version and oh my God, that was so nice. And the water is so warm and just, just right. And I felt like it was such a great warm up and it just got me feeling relaxed and it goes from literally um ain't like like uh, heel all the way up to your upper neck just lovely so lovely definitely it depending on availability when i come in i plan on doing that again and i mean I'm, i want to try out the lounge version too that one looked really nice also but the bed just a plus and <coughs> The staff at My Planet Fitness has been so nice because I think they can tell that I'm really shy and so it takes a lot for me to like ask about these things even though it's included in the, the tier that I'm paying for. Like, you know, you know what I mean. So they're always very approachable and like show you the whole thing. And I know they probably do that for everyone but I really think they can tell that I'm like slowly coming out of my shell. <laughs> and they've just been really awesome the whole way through. So I did the hydro massage, and then I did my 100 calorie warm up walk, and then I did the PF30 Express. Same thing, no, none of that ab machine, because the last time I tried it really hurt my back, and so I just, you know, I feel like I need to build up more core with my plank series during the week um, before I start to try that, maybe build up more back strength too, because, oh, that was just a bad, bad situation so I'm gonna avoid that until I think I'm ready to try it again really focus on isolating the core movement but then I did 200 calories on the strider machine which is what I call the armless elliptical and finished with a nice burst by that point I was soaked absolutely soaked through my shirt just dripping leaving a trail my little snail trail wherever I went and then I did 50 calories, just gentle walking on the treadmill, and then I, I pooped out. I could only do, at, at this point I was toast, even with the L-citrulline in my drink, which I really do think helped me do that final sprint push on the strider, but I was tapped out, and so I could only do five minutes on the stairs when I was like, you know what, what's the point? I am so, so beyond dead right now. And I feel like I'm just gonna hurt my knee because I'm starting to like get herky-jerky with how I'm doing my steps, you know, it's not as controlled. So I was like, no, not worth it. So I did cut that a little bit short, but then for my final walk, um, I, I think I only made it to like 70 calories, but that's because I decided to try out the total body enhancement, which is supposed to be an infrared booth, basically. No UV, they promised me, and inside the machine, it said that none of the bulbs in the, the whatever are um, UV emitting, none of them. So I, I took their word for it, and <laughs> I believe them, but it was really relaxing, and <coughs> such a great way to finish and then just go into the weekend yeah I I loved it I, it was not as red as I thought it would be I don't even think it was really red at all but they gave you these stickers that you can fold up and then they cover your eyeballs and um, 
the lights really must be bright because, you know, like, you cannot see through these in a normal light setting, but in that booth, it just makes it, like, visually, it's just kind of normal lighting. That's how it, it feels with these on. I would definitely not do it without eye protection, 100%. Either use the stickers, fold it into this little cone shape, or bring your own goggles. I actually have red light goggles that, um, I don't know, I think the stickers are fine in my case. I kept my eyes closed most of the time, except a few minutes when I was trying to fiddle with the vibrating floor, but honestly, the vibrating floor felt more like a workout than relaxation or a massage, so I turned that off because I was just like, <laughs> I'm, I'm already dead and spent. I'm not here trying to get a lower body push. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, <clears throat> definitely no, no, no. But other than that, it was so relaxing and it just felt so good. It, it It's not too much. Like if you've ever been by one of those infrared lamps at a restaurant or something in the outdoor section when it was chilly, those can be way, way too much. Those are almost like beam forming and f they can feel like a heat laser. This was just gentle warmth, gentle, just feeling like you're being showered in angelic light. And I don't know, I dig it. Um, I, now I am gonna look online later or at some point this weekend to check more of the benefits because I was, like I said, I was a little disappointed that it wasn't true red light. And they were probably confused because I kept calling it the red room <laughs> and the, the light's not even red. In fairness though, they, I heard them call it um, an infrared lamp. So, you know, the red's not coming totally out of nowhere, but for me, it's just kind of funny because it kind of reminds me of uh, Fifty Shades of Grey, you know, when he how he had the red room. <laughs> and so, <laughs> here I am, type, hi, here I am hyping up this red room, <laughs> like some sort of dork. <laughs> <laughs> and then I just hop into a little booth and it's just basically white light with a little bit of warmth to it. I did see people using the tanning booth and I was just like, no! I didn't say anything, but in my head I was just like, no! Like, you are so... It was a really handsome guy too and, and um, his girlfriend was waiting for him in like the waiting room area where all these booths and the hydro massage and all that stuff is. And um, <coughs> I don't know if she used the UV or not, but I was just glad, I don't even know how many booths they have in there because I'm never gonna go in there, but I was just glad she wasn't in a tanning booth. Like if they did have two UV booths, I was like, like you go girl. Like your man wants to fry, but you go girl. So that's that on that. But <coughs> yeah, I'm excited for a good weekend. I am adding more supplements because I did break and I ordered glucosamine chondroitin with MSM because I'm really concerned about my crackling left ankle. It has started to hurt a little bit and that's just not a good sign. Anytime, anything that you read online about crackling ankles says like it's usually just like a genetic and just part of your structures or whatever and as long as it doesn't hurt then you know it, it's whatever but mine is starting to hurt so everything that I can do to keep these joints juicy I guess I gotta do what I gotta do so we'll see how that goes but yeah, I'm really glad that I did go today. I'm glad I didn't skip. My neck didn't break out either. And you know why I think? Because I, you know, I was avoiding using steroid cream. I was hoping that my neck would just clear on its own if I just left it alone, but that just was not happening. So last night and this morning, I've been using uh, pre prescription, like an old tube of prescription steroid cream that I have. Uh, I forgot the, how to pronounce it. It's like that triang, triam, triam, triamclinone, acetonide, something like that. If you have a tube, then you know what I'm talking about. Smeared all over my throat and even all the way around. Such a difference. And I'm going to do that tonight and the whole weekend as well. And then hopefully I'll be feeling clear enough that I can um, 
yeah, just feel like I'm a little bit more back to normal next week. But anyway, have a great weekend. I'm gonna try to get this Monday through Friday, the fitness section up on Saturday. I gotta go let these dogs out and feed them too. Bye.